Hi Cougars, I'm Mr. Jack. I'm the principal of Greenfield Central Junior High School. We're excited to have you here back to school at the end of the month. We know you're a little nervous. We want to show you around a little bit of the school. If you get a drive, driven by your parents or walk to school, you'll be coming in door one and go straight into the gym. I'll show you the way. Come on. When you walk into the gym from the car rider line, you will see tape on the bleachers to help keep you six feet apart from other students. We will have adults to help direct you to the correct section of bleachers. When it's time to leave the gym, follow the directions of the adults as they dismiss each section of bleachers in small groups of students. Hi seventh graders, I am Mr. Sincroft. I'm the assistant principal at Greenfield Central Junior High. We're excited to have you here on July 30th. If you ride a bus to school, the buses will drop you off in the morning by door number seven. We'll have someone from the office who will be unloading a certain number of buses at a time. When you get off your bus, you're gonna come into the school through door number seven. Make sure you're wearing your mask and you can follow me inside. As you enter the school from your bus, you have the option of eating breakfast or going directly to your first period class. If you're eating breakfast, the doors to the cafeteria are on the left side of the hallway. To get your food, you'll just go in the cafeteria and head straight up to the serving lines. After you pick up and pay for your food, you will take it to your first period class. You can also get breakfast if you've been waiting in the gym. When you're dismissed from that area, you just go right across the hallway to the cafeteria, get your food, and then go to class. If you're coming in from your bus or being dismissed from the gym and not eating breakfast, you will go directly to your first period class. If your first period teacher is Mrs. Fry, you should report to the gym. As you're walking through the hallways, please stay on the right side of the hallway. Keep your mask on, and remember to maintain about six feet of distance from other students. To help with social distancing, we are not issuing lockers to any students. You're allowed to carry a normal-sized backpack or drawstring bag to all of your classes. As you come around the corner, you will be in the main hallway of the school. Continue walking straight ahead on the right side of the hall to get to more classrooms. The main hallway is where most of our related arts classes are located. There will be plenty of adults in the hallways to help you find the right class. Don't worry if you don't know where to go. Your first period teacher will be taking you on a short tour of the building to help you find your way around. Also, remember that you don't have to worry about finding your locker. In the first floor, main hallway, you will find the classrooms for Mrs. Evers, Mr. Pfeiffer, Mr. Spencer, and Mrs. Waymeyer. If your first period class is not in the first floor main hallway, you will continue walking straight ahead. At the end of the main hallway, on the right side, is the E100 hallway. If your first period class is in a room that starts with an E and a number 1, you will find it in this hall. If you go into the E100 hallway, remember to keep walking on the right side. The teachers in this hallway are Mrs. Steimel, Mrs. Jank, Mrs. Carey, and Miss Dawson. If you are not looking for a room in the E100 hallway, you can also find a staircase at the end of the main hallway that will take you upstairs where more classrooms are located. As you turn the corner at the top of the stairs, you'll find Mrs. Lund's classroom. If you walk a little bit more, the E200 hallway will be on your left. Classrooms in this hallway begin with an E and the number 2, and the teachers located here include Mrs. Green, Mrs. Sewell, Mr. Norris, Ms. Trinkle, Mrs. Allen, Ms. Didolo, and Mrs. Scott. Also, after you turn the corner at the top of those stairs, you can continue to straight ahead to find more related arts classrooms. Mrs. Holden's art room is about halfway down the hall on the right side. That was a really quick tour of the school, and we know many of you will still need help finding your classrooms on the first day. Feel free to watch this video more than once, and don't be afraid to ask for help. Again, every staff member will be out in the hallways to help you find your first period class. When you're in first period, your teacher will take you on a more detailed tour to help you find your other classes. Four of your six classes will be in either the E100 hallway or the E200 hallway. After a few days, you'll feel more confident in how to get from one class to the next. On the first day of school, we'll also give you more information about when you eat lunch, the procedures for getting to and from the cafeteria, and what you should do when school is over for the day. 
Remember to wear your mask when you're entering the school and whenever you're in the hallway. If you have questions before school starts, we're here to help you. Here are the names and email addresses for important people in our school office. We know this year will be different, but we still want you to enjoy your time at GCJHS. We can't wait to see all of you on the first day.